One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we was talking about now what influenced you to write this book. Um, well, the extraordinary uh, rise in the sense of uh, Barack Obama and everything that came with that inspired me. I've written, uh, I would say, hundreds of articles in different blogs and different places, and I pulled all of those together, and that's, a lot of those are in the back of the book, which is called the Renaissance Obama Articles. But, but beyond that, there were other ideals of where current events and current things that I wanted to talk about. When I had the idea for writing this book, and this book has happened over several years. It's probably three years that it's happened. You know, I first conceptualized it in another uh, title, uh, Generational Conservatives versus the Heart of Obama. Uh, uh, but that title did not, did not really, uh, did not really feel for me. So I, I came back with another mindset and I, I added the first article which is uh, extraterrestrials and humans and all of that came together into uh, the ideal and the title and the book that we have now. So we don't we want everybody to go out and really buy this book so we don't want to give you too much insight into it but I want to just give us just maybe a tad bit because we don't want people to think it's about extraterrestrials so let's Give them just a little bit. Okay, um, well, in the first part of the book, the, the first 10 articles, it talks about immigration, uh, what is the best approach and what's Obama's approach for immigration. It talks about Russia, it talks about Africa, and uh, Obama's connection to Africa. And I also talk about my trip to Africa and Tanzania and how uh, the, the U.S. is trying to interject trade in there and compete with China. It talks about our relationship with China. It talks about all the facets of world events and current events and different things. Uh, there's also an article, uh, excuse me, there's also a novel excerpt in the book, which is a very fascinating novel excerpt that the novel excerpt talks about uh, a trip to Ethiopia by a Catholic priest. And they're going there to meet a secret organization called the Teachers. And it talks about that trip and what transpires on that trip, why they go, what's the history of uh, the organization and their interactions with that organization. So, and it, it gives a lot of historical parts into that uh, novel excerpt also. And that novel excerpt in the book is called the, uh, the uh, the beginning of the sin against the universe. And so it's very interesting. I, I implore everybody that they should go out and read at least that novel excerpt. Well, I can hear your passion about this book, so I know you took your time and that you enjoyed writing it. And like I said, we don't want to get you to give us too much about it, but just give us a little bit about toward the end of it. What, what, what you want us to... Well, tell me, what do you really want your readers to get out of this book? I want the readers to get a, a, a different perspective, a, a, a really a, an appreciation of what Barack Obama had to go through, had to deal with, and then how he has to have extraordinary abilities to be able to withstand, to overcome, to do all of those things, because we hear so many negatives about that he's a weak president, that he's the worst president, that he's this president. So I wanted people to get another perspective of how he will probably go down as one of the top five presidents uh, ever. And I want them to see all these different facets to help in that understanding. So that's what I w was uh, looking for in that particular book. But uh, not just this particular book, but uh, all the other things that, that go with it. Uh, for instance, my, my other books, they kind of lead into uh, this perspective that I have. For instance, the book, um, the, uh, the, the book Seeking the Heart and the Sword talks about how you have to fight against, sometimes against yourself, your own weaknesses, to overcome those so that you can find a way to achieve. 
And if you read that book, it kind of leads into this particular book. So there's so many facets. Again, this is my sixth book, and I wanted uh, this book to be a road into many more people seeing my perspective and my understanding. Well, that's one of the things I really wanted everyone to understand is that the title may make it seem that you, you, you're you not supporting our president, but really your book really shows us everything that he went through. And I think a lot of people don't actually know what that was like. I, I, I have had a lot of comments online about the, uh, the title. And um, some people will be against the, the title without even looking into it. I understand that. But some people will be curious. So... It is a something that will grab attention, and it's also something that is somewhat provocative. Now, it, it comes starts into the question of what is a person's ideal or understanding of extraterrestrials. Uh, my personal opinion is I do not know. I'm not sure on that, but I will say this. Uh, many theorists, many uh, scientists have said that there are extraterrestrials and that it, it, in this vast universe it is very it, it's hard to believe that there's not other beings besides ourselves and in Africa uh, there's called a Nagoro Goro crater people from Tanzania could correct me on the pronunciation on that uh, but it's a big crater in Tanzania near Arusha and it's about five miles wide and the atmosphere in that crater is different from the atmosphere on the outside of the crater. And it has a whole lot of different um, archaeological findings in there. And some of the oldest bones that we know come from that area of the universe, of the earth. And so uh, a lot of people believe that maybe if aliens did come down, they crash landed inside that crater. I'm not saying that's a theory that's true. I don't have enough knowledge. I'm not an archaeologist, but I'm just presenting the theories. But one thing I was saying with that title is, if there are extraterrestrials in the world, maybe that explains how this uh, man uh, from unusual background, but not uh, something that, that other people haven't been through, how he rose up on this highest level through all of the mist of everything going on. How did he rise up through this uh, mist of all of this stuff to rise to that level, to the most extraordinary position in the world? The book could have been called Obama the Extraordinary. It could have been called Obama the Overcomer. It could have been called many other titles, but it's called Obama the Extraterrestrial representing that possibility, that thought. So I know there's a lot of people that could be uh, very uh, disgusted with the title, but look at it in a positive light. Uh, it's something that maybe others could rise to, and if there are extraterrestrials, maybe that explains it. But you can call it Obama the Extraordinary, if that is better for you. Okay. So tell me, what is your goal with this book? Do you think you're going to make the bestsellers list? I certainly would like to. I would like to try. I would like to try to make the bestsellers uh, list. We are going to uh, go all out. We're going to put it on um, uh, Amazon, on different websites. We're going to do all kinds of different things to promote the book and get people out there to read it. Because I think if people read it, they will certainly find it an interesting read and a very uh, insightful and provocative perspective. And so I think it would be a very good book to be on everybody's shoulders, excuse me, on everybody's uh, bookshelf. So I, I think it, it's a, a book that should be uh, looked at and listened at and read from every perspective. So uh, I look forward to it. Well, you know what is one thing I can say to people is that don't judge a book by its cover. I've enjoyed this book. My 14 started to read it a little bit, but I was so busy trying to get into it. So don't judge a book by its cover. This book is awesome. The uh, You got a chance to hear from the author yourself, and you can hear his views. And I think with that in mind, that you're going to go out and buy this book, because this book is awesome. 
Again, guys, I want to thank Mr. Carl Alexander for coming and sharing this book with us this morning. And I look forward to seeing it on the bestsellers list because we're going to put it there as a people. Y'all guys, have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>